Excuse me, but do you live here? No. Is breakfast for you? No. Then put a sock in it. <laughs> when did you think that up? Last night. Is the sock clean? Where it taste it? No. And I can't find that Perkins contract. Um, it's in your attache case. Well, I can't find my attache case. Well, I know where it is. I'll go get it. Uh, you don't suppose that he is spending too much time here, do you? Well, Marsha works long hours. Yeah, and Marsha takes advantage of you. No, no, no. She's letting me practice for when we have our own kid. Ah, look, uh, honey. <clears throat> honey, I thought we agreed to drop this adoption business. You know, it's just you and me against the world, kid, remember? We don't need anybody else. <laughs> Uh-huh. Like this. You get a ride to school. Oh. Mm. Um, I'll see you tonight. Okay. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. At the cocktail party. Right. Okay, what are we gonna name our new friend? Um, Kimberly. Shira. Shira. That's good. Anybody else got an idea? Hillary? How about Madonna? Madonna. Well, those are very good girl mm. names, but what if this is a little boy? How can you tell? Well. How can you tell if it's a boy or a girl? I've got a phone call in the office. OK. Uh, Mrs. Egan knows all about hamsters. She's going to help you figure out if this is a boy or a girl. Uh, Yes. Formerly Ann Lombard. Yes. What's it called? Anna Ortiz. Who is this? I have a message for you from Mr. Wanamaker. He says, the dancer is locked in the candy store, and only you have the key. Repeat. The dancer is locked in the candy store, and only you have the key. This is off the record, Annie. It's up to you. Watching TV after school until your mom gets home. Can we watch the Three Stooges? I prefer Sesame Street. I prefer the Three Stooges. Watch it, buddy. Where are we going? I have to make a phone call. Rodolfo Viegas. This is Christine Michelson calling. If you don't know who he is, why do you want to know who I am? Escucha. Dígale a Rodolfo Viegas que le llamaré mañana a las tres, oro local. Y más vale que él se encuentre al otro lado de la línea. Mi otros días en la nómina se terminaron. ¿Me comprende? Thank you. 
You know, though, if you delete that one word from the clause, it changes the meaning entirely. Well, exactly. And then we lay it into subparagraph 6AA, and Perkins not only ends up getting his points, but his perks are carved in stone. But what about force majeure? Well, I built in a nice little penalty clause that's going to end up costing them more than they'd be saving. And, and, what has more calories, whole wheat or rye? I don't know. I keep telling you, the diet only takes you halfway. It's the exercise that locks it in. Well, I know that. You should join this great health club I found in Encino. They have the new low-impact aerobics. How much is the membership fee? It's terrific. Let me tell you about it. It's 500 the first month, second month. Oh. Yes. Hello? Hi, it's me. Am I knew it was you. The old ESP is still working. How are you? Fine. Everything's fine. I do have a little problem. I was... Which only I can help you with. Of course. And who else? What do you need? Time and privacy. I've got some out-of-town business I need to take care of. I knew it. I knew this would happen. Becky. You tried to lead a normal life and you were bored to death. You're dumping old pompous Paul. Rebecca, I don't want to hear another word of this. Paul is my husband. Now, if you can't be a decent sister-in-law... Annie, I'm sorry. It's okay. Now, are you gonna help me or not? Of course I'm gonna help you. Okay, listen. If you don't hear from me tomorrow, call the house on Saturday at noon my time so you'll be sure to get Paul. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Um, tell him that you've broken your leg and you need for me to stay with you for a week. A week? That's an awful long time for Paul to play bachelor. He'll try to call you here. I know. Y you'll just have to put him off. Brother-in-law and I don't exactly have a lot to talk about. I think you'll figure it out. Listen, I can't talk. Wait, wait, you didn't tell me what you were doing. I owe somebody a favor. It's nothing to worry about. I'll call you again from Miami, and thanks. I knew I could count on you. You knew you could count on who? Um, Harriet Thorson. She's helping me with PTA next week. Oh. Well, why didn't you use the phone in my office? Did you leave it locked all the time? Rodolfo Villegas, por favor. Ava Cristina Michelson. Rudy? Yes, yes, a very long time. Uh, listen, I need to speak to you without ears. Go to a payphone and call me. How are you? Um, it's business. I want to go south. Well, I'd rather not say. Um, but it's not a freebie, Rudy. I've got cash. How long will it take you to set it up? Okay, I'll be down there on the 5th. Now, where should I meet you? Thanks. See you then. Yeah, well, I figured if you're going to be out here every afternoon, I might as well get healthy, too. Come on. Oh, no, you're, you're not going to get muscles, are you? Yes. Much better, Mrs. Goodwin. Thanks. But you're still keeping your arms too far out of the water. Hey, is that a bullet scar? Hey, hey, yeah. hey, bullet scar, come on. She fell on a ski pole, okay? She's a little klutzy, but she's cute. <laughs> See you tomorrow. All right. So, 
Mighty Mouth call. Are you referring to my sister? Yeah, she was so sweet and everything. I knew she wanted something. And? And she broke her leg. No, oh, no. How? I don't know. Poor baby. She wants you to go to Philadelphia and take care of her. For how long? A whole week. So you're gonna go? Yeah, of course. Well, what about school? I'll get that substitute the kids love. Well, what about me? Oh, I can arrange that. Look, I'll take a day off before I leave, and I'll get food in the refrigerator, get clothes in the laundry, clothes out of the cleaners, and I'll have someone take Scott to school. Just answer me one question. Does your going up there cancel out her coming down here this year? If that's what it takes. All right, okay. See, now, this might not be so bad after all. With oh, I'm sure, thanks. Don't forget to pay Hildy on Friday. The check is on top of the refrigerator. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Call me? I will. Okay. Now, did your mother tell you that Mrs. Hughes is going to start taking you to school tomorrow? Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a big hug. Ooh! Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye. Los Angeles is a comfortable 72 degrees. And now for...
having a drink with a very simpatico gentleman who tells me that he's just spent a miserable week finding acceptable housing for three very high-ranking Soviet officers. Well, that's one for your side. Yeah, terrific. Isn't that terrific? Let's get back to my side for a while. Huh? Annie, you've got four reports. There hasn't been a change in the number of Russians on this island in six months. I still say we should go after Luis Malarin. If anybody knows about new Russian troops camping out in the jungle, it's him. Forget it. Hey, Annie. When are you going to start white? Ella se le gustaría algo. Un cafecito, por favor, un pechito. Algo más. Mira, sin vergüenza. ¿Tú no ves que estamos hablando aquí? Lárgate. Annie, we could be facing another missile crisis here, and I'd appreciate a little cooperation. Lucho's right. Malarin's the obvious target. He's closer to Fidel than anybody, and he's accessible. Accessible? I've researched this guy. He's got no wife, no steady girlfriend, no entourage at all. This is not a man who lets people get close. Annie, baby, we got faith in you. You should have been a pimp, Cardona. I was. Señor, muchísimas gracias. De nada. Estoy totalmente empapada. Lo siento. Comandante Malarín, ¿verdad? Sí. Un verdadero héroe de la revolución. Es un gran placer conocerle. Demasiado entusiasmo, disculpe. Señorita... Ana, Ana Ortiz. Señorita Ortiz, el placer es todo mío. ¿Me gusta pasar? Sí. Creo que sí. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Gracias. Inglés, sí. Fui a la escuela en los Estados Unidos. Ah. ¿Y qué estudió? Ingeniería. Matemáticas. Qué gran justicia al tomar los conocimientos de la antigua decadencia para reconstruir el proletariado. ¿Tienes inclinaciones políticas? Bueno. Solo trato de hacer lo que Fidel nos pide. Estudiar. ¿Te quedarás la noche? Comandante, no soy... ¿Cómo lo dices? Rojas te llevará a casa.
Vic, it's not going to work. <laughs> well, what's not going to work? It's working. I say we look for another way. What are you talking about? I just spent 24 hours with the man. Yeah. The only thing I picked up on was that his commitment to communism seems a little anemic. I'm not even sure about that. Okay, so he's a hard case. We knew that going in. It's just going to take a little time, that's all. No, I don't have any more time for this. Annie, you're telling me something, but I can't break the code here. I'm in jeopardy here. We're all in jeopardy here. Where are you going? Piensa en lo que te dije. ¿Hablarás con Fidel? El jueves, sí. Bien, compañero. understand it I told you before this relationship is just not conducive to the extraction of information now what the hell is that supposed to mean look deep into my eyes and try to concentrate Malarine and I will never discuss the presence of a newly arrived Soviet combat brigade because Malarine and I never discuss anything sex answer I'm talking about sex so The man turns me on. That's really boring, Annie. Well, I'm sorry, Vic, but things like this happen. You know that. There's nothing I can do now except walk away. Look, is this mutual? I think so. You think so? Yes, it's mutual. Hey, well, then it's OK, then. Look, Annie, just hang around for a while. Huh? We got maybe two weeks before this job goes sour. Maybe something will happen. Something's going to happen, all right. I'm going to blow my cover. Right. This mission does not have a high enough priority for me to take a chance like that. I am off this. Hey, 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 wait a minute, kid. I'm control on this job. I set the priorities. Now, you just go back to Malarin, and you stay there till I tell you to leave. Look, I'm sorry, Annie. This is our best and maybe our only bet. Annie, I need winners real bad. Sorry it took so long. This way, please. Queridissimo. Amigo, I missed you. <laughs> How good it is to see you again. Yes. And you're a blonde. Can I ask which is the real you? 
The Christine you remember, but if you'll give me an hour in your kitchen sink, you'll have her right back. But she's already here. Apart from the hair, you look exactly the same. Liar. I'm eight years older. So are you. Tell me everything. Where are you now? Who are you? You're looking at a bona fide wife and school teacher of Los Angeles, California. <laughs> this new life agrees with you? Yes, I'm content. And you? I sell books. <laughs> Am I set for tonight? Oh, yeah, yes. I don't do much of this sort of thing anymore. But I'm always at the service of old friends. These are fine. How about the boat? Ready to go. Do you still keep up on the political soap opera down there? Oh, yeah. What do you want to know? Is Luis Malarine still sitting at Fidel's right hand? Yes. And most of the others have been, shall we say, replaced. But not Malarine. You mind if I make a long distance call? Please, please. Oh, I have a suitcase at the airport. It's under the name Ellen Fitzpatrick. You'll hold on to it for me. Of course. Yes, Darlene? There's a call from Mrs. Goodwin on line one. Oh, thanks. Hi. How was your flight? No complaints. But you don't sound too good. Did something go wrong at the Perkins meeting? Oh, boy, no. No, not much. The whole thing just fell apart is all. Well, they must have found subparagraph 6AA. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. I guess I should have buried it a little deeper. Look, so how's Becky? Totally immobilized, but she sends her love. Yeah? Huh. Okay, well, tell her to get better as soon as possible. Yeah. Um, Becky's calling me now. She's been living on Twinkies for two days. I'm going to go buy her some real food. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you soon. I love you. Me too. And, Paul, don't worry about Perkins. I know you'll turn it around. Bye. Oh, I don't need that. May I ask, uh, I mean, if you no longer work for them... This is personal, not official. Something for old times. Old times can be very dangerous. They get people killed. Christine the Cautious. Christine, the wife and the school teacher. You're right. I am rusty. But if I get picked up, it's going to be easier for them to believe my story if I'm not carrying a gun.
haciendo aquí? Quiero hablar contigo. No hay nada más de qué hablar. Por favor, Tomás. He tratado de mantenerme lejos de ti. Pero no me es posible. Quiero estar contigo. No has escuchado sí, nada de lo que Luis, sí, me acabo de enterar de algo. Soy el hombre para ti. Perdón, buenas noches. Disculpa, pero necesito hablar contigo. Recuerda, Abel, ¿de qué se trata? ¿Otro? Sí. Make it brief and in English. Yes, I, I understand. I was just at a party. To which were invited, by the way. Mm -hmm. Our friends from the East worry about you. I worry about our friends from the East. Well, one of them told me they were thinking of sending a combat battalion here. A brigade, actually. Rifle, tank, artillery battalions, service support units, nearly 3,000 men. Then it's true. They're coming. They are already here. But what does it mean? Why are they here? Perhaps they want to work on their towns. Oh, come on, Abel. Abel, you take these things too seriously. The Soviets say they want to send a brigade. Fidel says, if you wish, the brigade arrives. The Americans find out. President Carter makes an angry speech. The Marines in Guantanamo go on alert. The Soviets claim innocence. Fidel shrugs. The brigade goes home. Everyone's happy. Everyone. But the Soviets. On the contrary. The Soviets are only happy when they're unhappy. A very perverse people. You honor me with your confidence, Luis. Compañera. Todo está bien. Sí, querida. Todo está magnífico. Rojas. Rojas. Dentro, muévete. Where are you taking us? You know where, Commandante. Your presence on this trip is purely coincidental. I'm really sorry, babe. One of Lucho's Miami contacts turned up double and made all of us. It's okay. I got it. You got it? Yes. <laughs> winners, damn it! Winners! What are you yelling about? We're not winners till we get on that plane. Shut up and pull over. All right, Comandante, this is where you get out. Unless you want to go to Miami. I've been to Miami. Huh. Won't be a long wait. Probably catch a ride from the guys chasing us. Even anything behind. Let's not get melodramatic. <laughs> All right. That's my Annie.
Why are you answering the phone? I thought you were strung up in bed. I am. I mean, I was. Anne left the telephone too far from the bed, and when it kept ringing, I rolled out of bed and crawled over to it. Oh. So where is Anne? Uh, she went to the store to rent some movies. Good. Well, just have her call me the minute she gets back, all right? Is something wrong? No, no. Something is great. I just saved this contract I was sure was dead. Congratulations. You want to tell me about it? No. I mean, thanks for your interest, but it's just very complicated. Just have Ann call me when she gets back, all right? Paul! Comandante. A casa. A las ocho. Sí, mi comandante. assumption that I'm one of you arrested is astonishing and insulting. Not an assumption, Louise. A gamble. Besides, from where I'm standing, a Cuban jail doesn't look so bad. I'm in desperate trouble with my own people. It's, it's extremely complicated, but the only one that can help me with them is here, in one of your jails. I think I'll have you shot. It's Vic Pena. I've got to talk to him. Please, tell me where he is. You are much more convincing in Spanish. Luis, I've got to see him. Your Vic Pena hasn't been in Cuba since 1979. I'm begging you. We don't have him. They told me he was here. Who told you? The CIA. Well, there's a reliable source. You're telling me the truth, aren't you? You don't have him. We don't have him. Oh, my God. Luis, I'm sorry, but you're right. I've been lied to, but I don't know what it means. If you don't have the dancer, then what am I doing in Cuba? The vaudeville act continues. Listen to me. Something is very wrong here. I'm not even in it anymore. I haven't been for years, but they called me. And they used the highest priority name I know to activate me. They said that Vic Peño was in prison in Cuba, and I was the only one who had the key. I thought they meant you. I'm sorry. I couldn't ignore it. Vic saved my life. Why should I believe anything you say? Oh, come on. It was years ago. I was just doing my job. Your job was to make me betray my country. We're just counting Russians. I think I shoot you myself. You'd never hurt me. And you didn't come back to save Vic Pena's life. 
You came back to me. I used to dream about you. We were always in a car. You do your best work in cars. It's an American specialty. You know, they teach it to us in high school. Yeah, something like that. It's not important. Not many things are anymore. What about you? What? What happened to all that revolutionary fervor? Oh, the revolution was 28 years ago. It's a long time to keep celebrating. I'm sorry. Why don't you stay? I'm married. Part of the desire of being normal, huh? Yes. Your husband doesn't know, does he? Do you realize that whoever brought you here is out there looking for you? you onto a plane to Mexico. It'll take a few days to arrange that. Thank you. Where do you leave me? I have to. But I'm not sure I can. Diga. Luis. See. Si. Luis, I've figured it out. It's not me they're after, it's you. Comandante, siento informarle. Queda bajo arresto por conspirar con un agente imperialista.
Buenos dias, dancer. I've come to rescue you. Annie. Look at this. Never thought I'd hold one of these again. And now, I'll bet I even remember how to use it. Annie, please. Just let me explain. This is going to be a long story. My visa's just about up. Please. Go on. I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. But we had to get Malarin. And you were the only way we knew. He has been arrested. Yeah. Let me guess. Consorting with a known enemy agent. Yeah. Andy, I told him. I told him they'd be putting you in a hell of a spot, but you know how they are. They don't care. You know, when they want something, nobody counts for spit. Annie, please, huh? Look, you made it out. You know, that was me. I didn't tell him it had worked until Malarin left the house, you know? Give you a chance to escape. <laughs> you did. You did just that. <laughs> Man. You still got it, I kid. Oh, baby. Baby, what do you want me to say? All right, they used you, okay? Annie, they use me. They use everybody. Who's they, Vic? Hmm? What? Well, you know, the, the company. You bastard. You used me. I was here last night, Vic. A Russian is a Russian, and I know one when I see one. Oh, Vic. How long you been playing for the B team? No! Annie, just want a cigarette, that's all. Huh? I'm with no team now. It's just the Bucks. 
My dancing days are over. Why the frame on Mallory? You couldn't find anyone more loyal. Yeah, yeah, to Fidel, but not to the Russians. He hates their guts. Everybody knows that. It's no big secret. Why is he such a threat all of a sudden? It's that spiel Castro's been given Latin America. You know, the one about skipping out on their debts to the Western banks. The comrades are nervous. They think Fidel's thinking of taking a hike on the billions he owes them. What's that got to do with Malarin? They think he's behind it. They know he's the reason why Fidel didn't go to Chernenko's funeral. What happens to him now? He's a dead man. Okay. I mean, that's it. You know, I've spent the last several days of my life being pretty stupid. But you haven't been so bright yourself. Didn't it ever occur to you that Mallorine might have a resale value? Huh? I'm betting my life that our side, no, that my side will be willing to pay you more for Mallorine alive than the Russians did for him dead. You may have a point. Do they know you've turned? I don't think so. Knowing them, I believe it. OK. You plug yourself into the network. You tell them that the dancer and Ana Ortiz can liberate Luis Malarin from the Russians for a fee. And you name your price. My price? Come on, you're not going for a piece of this? When they agree, you use your connections here, you provide me with the means to get Mallorine out, and I'll handle the rest. <laughs> you know, in all these U-turns you're making, I got a little lost. Just what is it you're trying to do? Get me out of Cuba alive. What? Why is it I get the impression it's Mallorine you're trying to get out of Cuba alive? Come on, dancer. Put your tab shoes on. Malarine is my insurance against you. The only way I'm going to get out of here is if I can give you something more profitable than me. That's a low blow. Why, Vic? You haven't told me that part. Oh, Annie. I was always in it for the game. Didn't you know that? How long do you figure to make the arrangements? A couple of days? No, one day. Mallorine can't have that much time left. All right, one day, if they buy. They'll buy. I'll see you tomorrow at noon. Copelia. Dancer, after all these years, what made you think your plan would work? Because I knew Malarin. Do you know that in the last eight years, he's worked his way through practically every woman in the government? Half the ones in the party apparatus. None of them lasted a month. And because I knew you. You owed me, Annie. And you always pay your debts. Hi, is this the office where Rebecca Lombard works, please? Ah, uh, yes, this is Paul Goodwin. I'm her brother-in-law. Yeah, Anne's husband, that's right. Look, I'm really worried. I've been calling Becky's apartment most of the day with no answer, and uh, I just wondered if you could tell me, is something wrong, or is there some number that I... The supply room. No, I mean, what do you mean she's in the supply room? You mean she's at work? Okay, let me ask you a question. Does she have a broken leg? No. Uh, no, I'll call her. Thank you very much. Darlene?
How's the leg? Okay, so, you don't have a broken leg, and Anna's not here, and she never has been by the look of things, so I want to know right now where she is and what this is all about. She's doing something for you. That's it, right. You're in some sort of a jam, and she's doing something that I wouldn't approve of to save your rear end. It has nothing to do with me. Look, little sister, I know where you stand, but you better stay out of my way. I am not in your way. Anne is. If she had wanted you to know where she was going, she would have told you. Obviously, you're not as close as you thought you were. Oh, cheap shot. Cheap target. Rebecca! What is going on? I can't tell you. Where is my wife? I can't tell you. What are you doing? Well, you see, I'm going to call the police because as far as I'm concerned, my wife just became a missing person. No, you'll ruin everything. What? What will I ruin? She went to Miami. I think it has something to do with her old job for the government. No, Anne never worked for the government. Have it your way. She never worked for the government. OK, OK. If she worked for the government, why, why didn't she tell me? I have nothing more to say. You'll have to ask her that. It's something embarrassing, right? OK, what could she be? Senate page, an IRS agent, secret agent, lob... That's it? A secret agent? Anne's a spy? I don't believe this. Oh, God, no. What are you doing? I'm going to Miami to find my wife. Oh, that's real smart. What do you think she did? Left a trail of breadcrumbs? I'll find her. All you're going to do is get her into trouble. She wasn't supposed to tell anybody anything ever. And she didn't, did she? She didn't tell me. Zordell, I'm at LAX. No, no, there's no confirmation she's gone south. But she's not here. She's not where she told the neighbor she was going, and that's good enough for me. I say the dancer's offer is kosher, we should move on it. No, 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 there's no husband, but we're looking for him. Listen, you're not paying attention. This merchandise is too valuable to play it cautious. Make the damn deal. hideout artist in the business. Did they buy him? Oh, yeah. You were right. We made a very nice deal. Where is he? In the hospital. They got him in quarantine like he had bubonic plague or something. I haven't seen anything in the papers. No, no, no. No leaks. His guards probably don't even know who they're guarding. What have you got for me? Pass into his room and two keys. Uh, one to a boat at Rudy's old dock, and one to a car parked in front of the hospital. Don't tell me, the same old junker. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. You gotta handle the rest. Is Julio Nunez still in the medical supply business? In Miami. He got out with the Marielitos. But his cousin is doing a little black market thing here and what Julio can smuggle into him. OK. Coming out with us? Uh-uh. Oh, the only trip I'm making 
is to the Bahamas. You deliver in Miami, I collect in Nassau. Then what? Greener pastures. How much time you think you got, Dancer? See you, Annie. I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, what do you think you're doing? And let me see that identification Mr. again, Goodwin, please. What is your wife doing in Cuba? Cuba? She's in Cuba? I don't know. But you know more than you should, don't you? I just know Anne used to work for you people. Our little Annie's got a big mouth. She's retired. So hey. I've noticed. Let's now go. Now look, now look, pal, you better tell me what's going on right now or I'm going to call the cops. No, you're not. What you're going to do is get into this car and go to a hotel room with no telephone where you and Miss Lombard will stay under guard till we straighten no, 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 it out. No, 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 no. You can't lock us up. Watch me. I'm, look, what? I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. Compañera, dígame, me ha mandado a ver a paciente que está bajo guardia. ¿Tú sabes del 102? Ninguna de nosotras ha podido siquiera entrar. ¿Quién es? Sin preguntas, no te lo puedo explicar. ¿Hacia dónde esos cuatro siete A la derecha, al final del pasillo. ¿Dónde están los soldados? No. Quédate en tu puesto. Sedated. I don't know how I would have handled that. I didn't do this to you. I was used to do it. By the dancer and your old comrades, the Russians. They finally had it with you. You had to go and I was the bait. You're finished here. You know that. You have to get out of here. I explained Fidel. You'll never see Fidel. They're going to kill you, Luis. My God, I feel like I've killed you. Please come with me. Te necesito. Comandante. <coughs> Set this up. Vic, it's okay. I showed him how to double his money. We sold you to the company. It's just a scam just to get you out of here. I won't talk to them. I never meant for you to. Here the keys. Take this.
are you going? A different route. Longer and less comfortable. This is going too smoothly, and I don't have your faith in the dancer's green. Say you didn't earn it. The dancer's in the trunk. He has a hole where his heart used to be. Which means they're expecting us. Yes. And which also makes me wonder why they've let us get this far. They've turned our escape plot into an execution plot. I cannot be killed in public. Yes, but there has to be a public explanation. How about hero of the revolution assassinated by Yankee imperialist agent? Agent executed by Vigilant Army. It'll play. What are we going to do now? Go for the boat. We know what's waiting for us there. If we look for another way, we'll just be giving them time to find us. And they will. We walked the rest of the way. There's probably a reception committee waiting, and no gasoline. Can you hotwire a fishing boat? A Cuban can make anything run.
Anna, what are you doing? They're out there looking for us. If they find us together, you're trapped. We're going to Mexico. Anna! What if they don't find you? Then the drug smugglers will, or the Haitians. I'm not going to sail away and leave you adrift in the middle of the ocean. And I promised you I wouldn't let them get you. My promises haven't meant that much lately. Please help me keep this one. If you must. But I insist you wait until we've sighted the Florida Keys. No, it is too dangerous for you. I know it's too dangerous for me. He's dead. All right, I'm calling NASA. Vic Pena's not going to get a dime. Save your breath. The dancer's dead, too. What the hell happened down there? Wait a minute, Lombard. You are going to have to tell me everything. In your dreams, Wardell. Oh? Well, I've got a little surprise for you back at the hotel. Your sister. And your husband. Lombard. I pulled your old cloak and dagger out of cold storage. When are you coming back to work? <laughs> oh, you'll be back. You're a danger junkie. Just like me. And nobody kicks that habit. It kicks you. 